Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Heat adds Summer League standout on two-way contract. The Miami Heat have announced that they have signed former first-round pick Josh Christopher to a two-way contract, which in turn meant that they waived Zian Pullen. Christopher impressed during the Heat Summer League stint and was even awarded Summer League Final MVP where he led the team with 24 points, making 6 out of 10 attempts from deep, to win the title. The Miami Heat announced today that they have signed guard Josh Christopher to a two-way contract and waived guard Zian Pullen. As a whole, Christopher averaged 19.3 points, 3.0 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and 2 steals per game while shooting 54.1% from the field and 52.5% from three-point range during his time in the summer league. The 22-year-old is a former first-round pick as said before, where he was taken with the 24th overall pick in 2021 by the Houston Rockets, but couldn't find his footing in the league until landing with Miami where he even said that he believes heat culture just brought the best out of me. I've been able to play basketball for a long time, Christopher said according to Anthony Chang of the Miami Herald. But I think this heat culture thing just brought the best out of me. I don't think I've had a series of games better than this in my life, honestly. Christopher now joins other summer league standout in Kashad Johnson and Drew Smith as the three players on two-way contracts at the current moment. Heat Summer League head coach Dan Bisacho credits Christopher's success to the unseen hours he puts in to better his craft, which resulted in impressive performances in Las Vegas. This is a microcosm of all the work that he's done behind the scenes, Bisacho said. A lot of that is what they call those unseen hours that you do either in the gym alone late at night or you're working with a strength coach. The Arizona State product could be of great use for the Heat if he further develops into a player that is a knockdown scorer and even improve on the defensive end, which he even mentioned as being a focus. He has also been a better shooter from deep, which Miami embraces as Bisacho doubled down by saying that he has a willingness to just do whatever is necessary. He showed up in May with a willingness to just do whatever is necessary, Bisacho said via the Miami Herald. So obviously he had some opportunities, he was drafted in the first round. From there, unfortunately, he goes to the G League and we were very fortunate to pick him up. As soon as he showed up to Sioux Falls with, Coach Kasib Powell, he said, What can I do to get better? How can I impact the game? So I give him a lot of credit, Bisacho continued. He could have easily said, well, I'm a first-round draft pick. I should be doing this or this. Maybe this didn't work out and it's not my fault. He had that willingness to grow and get better, and we're going to continue to challenge him. Heat signed Josh Christopher to two-way contract. The Heat have signed free agent guard Josh Christopher to a two-way contract, the team announced, via Twitter. To create a two-way roster spot, Miami waived undrafted rookie Zian Pullen. Christopher is a former first-round pick, 24th overall in 2021, who spent his first two NBA seasons in Houston before being traded to Memphis last summer. The Grizzlies eventually waived Christopher and his guaranteed contract for 2023-24 in late September, which also effectively declined his fourth-year team option for 24-25. Christopher later caught on with the Jazz, spending a few months with Utah on a two-way deal before being released in January. Despite being eligible to, he did not appear in an NBA game last season, having split the campaign with the Salt Lake City Stars, Utah's NBA G League affiliate, and the Sioux Falls Sky Force, Miami's affiliate. The 22-year-old Christopher is being rewarded for his standout playing during Las Vegas Summer League, which saw the Heat win the championship in dramatic fashion, an overtime finish over Memphis. Christopher was named the title game's MVP after registering a team-high 24 points, including six three-pointers. He also added four rebounds, one assist, three steals, and two blocks. I think this heat culture thing just brought the best out of me. 
I don't think I've had a series of games better than this in my life, honestly, said Christopher, who averaged 19.3 points, 3.0 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and 2.0 steals on point five forty one slash point five twenty five slash point one point zero 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 shooting in his six appearances in Vegas, 25.9 MPG. As for Poland, the 23-year-old point guard showed flashes during summer league, but he also didn't earn much playing time, 11.9 MPG. The former UC Riverside and Florida star will be an unrestricted free agent in a couple days if he clears waivers. Drew Smith and Kashad Johnson occupy the Heat's other two-way spots, as shown by our tracker. The Miami Heat didn't make any flashy moves this offseason, but the franchise, known for adding big names, has the resources to stay patient and strike when the right moment comes. One of the main potential trade partners for the Miami Heat going into the summer was the Cleveland Cavaliers due to the apparent on-court defensive style conflict between star Donovan Mitchell and regular star Darius Garland. Mitchell could have forced the Cavs to trade him but decided instead to sign a contract extension. This left Garland alone on the trade block, or at least that was the general idea among most national NBA insiders. However, Cleveland hired a new head coach, Kenny Atkinson, who wants to keep the talented core of players together, at least for now, to see if he can make the chemistry work. Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports reported on Wednesday, July 24, that the Cavs rejected all interested suitors for Garland, doing so in the context of the San Antonio Spurs' decision to sign Chris Paul after failing in negotiations with Cleveland for Garland. The Cavaliers' all-star guard, Darius Garland, was another talented player the Spurs inquired about, sources said, although Cleveland has rejected any trade interest for Garland so far, wrote Fisher. However, circumstances can easily change if events in Northeast Ohio unfold similarly to last year when the team was actually better with Garland out of the lineup and more off-ball talent surrounding Mitchell in various player groups. The fact that Garland is playing on a five-year, $197.2 million contract, which will cost the Cavs nearly $37 million against the salary cap next year, could accelerate the process if the new coaching staff decides it can build a better and more complete roster. Cleveland fully committed to Mitchell, paying him $150.3 million in a new three-year contract. The team also recently secured big man Evan Mobley, 23, for at least $224.2 million in a new five-year contract, solidifying his place as a franchise cornerstone. As such, salary cap concerns will undoubtedly become an issue for the Cavaliers in the near future, which alone will pressure Cleveland to cultivate a younger and cheaper roster. Even so, fit is the most likely factor to drive changes on the defensive court, as both Mitchell and Garland need the basketball in their hands to maximize their talents as players. Garland's usage rate has dropped in each of the last two seasons since Mitchell joined the team, and his traditional counting stats have also dropped from 21.7 points and 8.6 assists during his lone All-Star campaign in 2021-22 to 22 to 18.0 points and 6.5 assists last year, according to Basketball Reference. The Cavaliers also went 17-8 without Garland during the 2023-24 campaign and 31-26 in his 57 games that season. The Lakers have asked LeBron James to take on an enormous amount of offensive responsibility in recent years, which may become unsustainable now that he is entering his 40th season, coming off participation in the Summer Olympics in Paris. James played more than 35 minutes per game in each of the last two campaigns and posted usage rates of 33.3% and 29.2%, respectively. To contextualize, James' usage percentage ranked 18th in the league last year, despite being the oldest player in the NBA. Garland could ease this burden by taking on regular point guard duties, which James assumes despite his listed position as a forward, and help the Lakers play a more potent offense through his average of 18.4 points per game and 38.4% three-point shooting percentage on 5.8 attempts per game. Los Angeles has two unprotected first-round picks, 2029, 
2031, that it can trade and the nearly $19 million expiring contract of D'Angelo Russell, which can help make the money work. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Darius Garland? Leave your opinion in the comments.